Hi, my name is Tom Ellis. I'm a premium service engineer at Canonical. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about private cloud and our solution, Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud. Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud is an EC2 uh, compatible equivalent um, of Amazon's EC2 Cloud, but running within inside your own data center. So, completely within your own data center, you have a whole cloud topology that Amazon provides as a public service. This consists of a few components. Firstly, we have the cloud controller, which we call the CLC. This provides a API interface and a web interface for you to control resources in your cloud. Then we have what we call the cluster controller. Uh, this provides the elastic IP for your cloud instances and also um, controls the nodes within that section of your cloud. And you can have multiple sort of these. So we can have two separate what we like to call zones within the same cloud. Underneath that we have a series of nodes. Node controllers. These are what are providing the uh, computing power behind your cloud. So on each of these are running virtual machines are an instance, and those instances are what provide your services on the cloud, such as a website or a, an application server hosting a database. Now, there's also two additional services that are provided. It's S3 services coming from the WARS controller, that's providing your object storage just like they do on Amazon. The easiest way to think of that is as a network file system. <coughs> also, we have a storage controller. The storage controller provides block devices to your uh, virtual machines so that you can put file systems on there and store your application data. But we also offer a whole bunch of services around this. So, we provide training and support and we also um, have put lots of work into making the installation very easy. So you can grab a Ubuntu server CD today and install the cloud directly from the web in the interface on it and all of your components will automatically register together so that you don't have to go through the tedious manual process of setting up your cloud. You can do this very quickly in approximately half an hour. So if you're very interested in this I would go to ubuntu.com slash cloud and check it out.